Okay, fellas. Now I'm going to tell you a story about an old buddy of mine named Widow. All right. Widow, his, uh, his nickname for the media was the Paper Bag Bandit. All right. And, uh, Widow, he was a white dude, all right, but he just grew up with Chicanos, and right, and he ran with Chicano. And, uh, he was a pretty good dude, but he was real quiet, kept to himself for the most part, okay? So, anyhow. He had a little nickname we called him when, uh, when we just trying to fuck with him. We called him the wife beater. <laughs> because <laughs> one time there was this fag. All right. Now, back in the day, Southern California Chicanos, some of them messed with fags. Well, these particular ones in my block, Sharky and a few other ones, and Weddle, they messed with fags, okay? So, anyhow, they didn't fuck them or nothing, but they let them suck their dicks, all right? I mean, be it what it may, they let them do it, all right? But these guys were killers. They wasn't no punks, but... They did it. Just, I mean, they were doing grip to time. I guess they just didn't give a fuck. All right. Myself, personally, I could never get my dick hard for a man. All right. I don't care. I mean, it would make it smaller if he tried to put his mouth down there, you know. But there was this fag <laughs> that was named Vanessa. And, I mean, I got to admit, he was a pretty man. I mean, I mean, he had a kind of a pretty woman's face, right? Well, anyway, he just got done blowing a gang of motherfuckers, all right? And, uh, Widow come up there, and he says, hey, come on, man. Hit this thing for me real quick. So Widow whipped that motherfucker out, and, uh, Vanessa says, that motherfucker's too big. Widow said, what the fuck are you talking about? He said, the motherfucker's too big, I ain't sucking that thing. And Widow said, oh, you sucking his dick. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not. And he jumped up and hit old Widow in the fucking eye. <laughs> and Widow beat his motherfucking ass and said, now, bitch, you're going to suck this dick and you're going to make me fucking like it or I'm going to beat you again. <laughs> so, you say, Vanessa sucked that dick. And, uh, I think it was Sharky that says, when Widow come out of the cell, I think it was Sharky says, look, look, it's the wife beater. <laughs> Widow didn't like that shit none, right? <laughs> but it stuck with him, all right? But you didn't, what the, Widow was a pretty big fucking guy, all right? So you didn't really want to put it out there like that, you know, too much, especially in front of guys that, see, in the pink country, it, it, it's you know, it's okay to joke around with a guy like that if you know him good and if there aren't see if there aren't other people around. See, sometimes people don't realize, and this is rare though in, in maximum security penitentiaries, but sometimes people don't realize that they're not allowed to, to clown a guy. All right. Well, there was this other fag. His name was Piranha. All right. And this guy had a real legal split personality. He had shrinks coming from all over the country to interview him. All right? One personality, his name was Donnie Huff. And Donnie Huff was a girl. And that was the dominant personality. And the other personality was a guy named Donnie Blackmore. And Donnie Blackmore was totally anti-fag and he was a motorcycle rider, a, a, a biker, all right? And he was a total man, but he had no idea about Donnie Huff. But Donnie Huff knew about Donnie Blackmore. But Donnie Huff had control. Well, as he started getting a little older, I guess Donnie Blackmore started kind of kind of slipping in there when and Donnie Huff couldn't control it. So Donnie Huff had a boyfriend named Wendell, this Hawaiian guy, all right? And uh, one time, Wendell's fucking Donnie in his ass, and 
Donnie Blackmore just popped right the fuck in. So, it'd be like you waking up and having some guy fucking you in your ass. You're going to flip the fuck out. All right? Unless you're a fag, right? But, anyhow, uh, he turns around and he looks at Wendell and he says, the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> and, and Wendell says, what do you mean, man? What's going on? He reached out of the bed, got his fucking knife, man, and fucking went around the cell. And Donnie Blackmore chased his ass fucking down and was stabbing his ass. We had to jump by and pull him out. Look, man. And he's going, this motherfucker's fucking in my... I said, we're going, so what? But we ain't aware of what's going on. <laughs> so they put him in a hole, all right? And what he was in jail for is he was on parole on a robbery case, all right? And what happened was... He was, the guy was a master, a master baker, all right, and he was working up in Big Bear in California, and his parole officer came by to see him, and the cat started scratching the fucking couch, and Donnie grabbed him and said, grabbed him by the neck, said, I told you not to do that shit, and twisted his fucking neck and broke his neck, <laughs> and that's the kind of fucking guy he was, but anyhow, don't ever fuck with them fags with no split personality, this guy was fucking crazy. I'll tell you some more stories about this guy down the line. This guy was a fucking trip. Anyway, guys, like my videos, subscribe to my channel. And remember, don't do the kind of bullshit preacher done. <laughs> anyway, bro, I'll talk to you fellas later. You take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.